Simon, always a great feeling to come out winners in a derby match, especially away from home. How good does that feel today? That's a brilliant feeling. Um, it, it, it was all set up for a big game, you know, when we came out and, and saw the, uh, so many fans in the away and it was like a fo football league following today. And they were just, um, they made it a special, special atmosphere. Um, we knew it was going to be a difficult game, as all derbies are, but we had to ride that kind of um, bitty kind of performance first half and stay and make sure we were in the game and be rigid, but then second half we knew that we could go up a couple of gears. I think what the first half lacked in goal mark action certainly made up for in big heavy challenges and committed challenges. Was that to be expected going into a derby match? With well, you'd hope so, you know, when, when stakes are high and you want all players to be passionate and thought both sides were, were into the tackle and... Um, and it's 50-50 in that respect. But I don't think there was anything untoward, you know, with it, with any tackle. Um, but good passion showed. But um, we we hoped at half time that we could then, well, once the steam was taken out of it, show our ability on the ball, and and we did that, and we scored good goals. And the first goal, Jake Wright, we've seen to say it a lot of weeks now, another very clinical finish from him. Great finish because it could be argued that he was going a little, a little bit too wide, you know, from the angle he was shooting at. I thought it's a hard task then. Rifling it in, but he did just that, and you know the the roar coming up in the way the way in was you know certainly memorable. And Jake got injured slightly after that. Um, decision was to stick with two up top, continue playing the way we were, and bring Mark Beck on. And he's rewarded you with that decision a couple of minutes later, getting the goal. Yeah, he took a blow to his head, did uh, Jake, and um, but we had the right man to come on at that, at that time, and Becky right from the first header was an absolute beast for us. And, what a ball from Joe, to be fair to him, with a set piece from him, uh, and a thumping finish again in front of the fans, which made it even more special. So, goals aside, before today, I think York had scored in the last 16 here at Bootham Crescent. To come here and do what other teams haven't been able to do recently and keep a clean sheet must be pleasing from a defensive viewpoint. Yeah, well, right from the off, I thought the back line were in that kind of mindset where they were dogged and, uh, and they're pretty calm uh, under any pressure, and the two centre-halves headed with distance and, um, and height. And, and the two full-backs, again, were very stubborn and hard to beat, so can't give them enough credit, you know, because, like I say, all derbies are difficult. You mentioned our away fans have turned up today in their numbers. Just how much of a lift does it give when your players come out of the tunnel and they look to their left and they just see a whole stand just full of yellow and black? It, 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 was, it was amazing. You know, there were rumours that it might be between 250 and 350, and then you just told me that it was 512 of the um, away fans. Unbelievable, that. unbelievable. So, you know... We had to get them the result because um, it, they say it's just a, a brilliant following and they didn't just stand there, they, they sang their hearts out for the lads and it means a lot. I know those fans are going to be important again in our next game. We've got Southport over CNG Stadium. The lads must be buzzing for that one now after today. They will and they deserve a couple of days off now. Um, uh, and they're in, entitled to a, a good breather uh, and enjoy the weekend. But uh, then it'll be all minds on, on the next uh, Next big game, which again, you know, a difficult opposition in uh, Southport. We know they've got really good players, um, but hopefully, you know, we'll be back at the CNG, uh, you know, stadium. And um, I know a lot of talk's been, you know, the advantage of the home pitch, but we've come away on it on a good away pitch and are putting a proper performance. So we'll be looking forward to playing in front of a big crowd at home next week. Thank you. Cheers.